Hi, I'm Sandy Burns with RVTravel.com, and I'm at the RV Super Show here in Tampa, Florida, and I'm standing with uh, Bruce Alexander. And Bruce, what, what did you say your title is? Um, I'm a regional manager with Riverside uh, RVs out of LaGrange, Indiana. We manufacture the Whitewater uh, retro trailers, uh, sort of the uh, updated version of the uh, the Scotty uh, trailer. Uh, kind of the canned ham look, as they uh, used to say. Uh, it's it's all welded. Some of the people that are copying now have a wood frame. Ours is all, uh, is all welded aluminum frame, lightweight. Our niche is small, lightweight, single axle trailers. Pull them with a six cylinder, and uh, it's just lightweight. Our demographics on our owners or buyers are um, typically people that are downsizing from a bigger unit. I think in the, the whole retro era that we've entered, people are kind of looking at life as it was, maybe simpler. So the retro uh, trailers there, they said they're getting their inspiration from the Scotties. So what, what were the Scotties all about? Scotties were a very basic trailer made in Pennsylvania and were very simple vehicles. Originally, they had a dropped floor. They were so small that you couldn't stand up. So they put a drop pocket in the floor in front of the stove so you could stand up to cook. John Cerro, S-E-R-R-O, was the founder of the company. And the company was always called Cerro Scotty. Okay. I believe the license name was Cerro Manufacturing. Okay. But it was always Cerro Scotty. Mm. They looked like a canned ham. They were round on both ends. Looked like something you'd pick up from the grocery store and have a ham in it. And they were very popular, again, because they were very inexpensive. Mm -hmm. And they were everybody's travel trailer. They were light. You could pull them with any car of the day. It was just part of that 50s and 60s popularizing of the RV lifestyle to the working man. Mm -hmm.